Yeah. Not brilliant, though, really. Anyway, can I raise a question with you here, Jeremy? Earlier on, we saw you driving around in that Mercedes, the SL, the 1960s yeah. one, and you said that it was £30,000, and it was very good to look at, and it wasn't very fast, and you really, really liked it. Yeah. OK. Then you drove this, the Audi TT, and you said it cost £30,000, it's very good to look at, and it's slow, and you really don't like it. Yes. Well, well done. Top marks for consistency, Clarkson, sticking to your message. No, the point is, if you drive an Audi TT, you are the same as every estate agent from here to Humberside. Yes. So you've got to make a big effort with your hair and everything, OK? If you drive a Mercedes SL, everyone goes, what a great car. And let's be honest, the Dimbleby brothers have one of those. Yeah. Didn't they do long train running? Is that right? You see, <laughs> this is what I've had to put up with. He thought Colin Powell was the drummer with Black Sabbath. <laughs> Look, we've had a bit of an argument this week, to be honest. And it's, it's about this very subject, the old, wise, versus the new. The future, as I like to look at it. Uh, and it's down to cars, because... Uh, it's I'm, basically, we as I like, no, no, as I like to look at it, is this. Bad company versus busted. <laughs> so this is how it's been all week. Great fun. I mean, we do agree on some stuff, like old cars were agreed, apart from the, Aston, the new Aston Martin, old cars are yeah. better looking. They're better looking, they're more comfortable, they're the new, safer. Newer cars are yeah. safer, we agree on all kinder that. to the environment. However, I believe that cars these days are getting slower. And I believe you're just being stupid when you say it. <laughs> because Jackie Stewart had only 400 brake horsepower to win the Formula One championship in 1973. Yeah. 400 brake horsepower. You can get that nowadays in an Audi. It's but an Audi weighs more than the moon. And so it just goes on and on and on. So we have agreed the only way to settle this is out on our track. Absolutely. So we have got to start the ball rolling, a Golf GTI from my generation and a Golf GTI from his generation, and we're going to have a little race. OK, and they are away. And you'll notice, I think, that the Mark 1, yes, it's in the lead. It is in the lead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, it's there. Yeah. That's not right. And so... And so the new golf, which is as sporty as actually playing golf, loses oh the first round to my generation and wins the first round of the Top Gear Generation game, which is what we've come up with here. Yes, this is how it's going to work. OK, so this is the second round. These two cars, two Toyotas. First, the lightweight, modern, fleet, efficient, nimble, new mm -hmm. MR2. And mm -hmm. then the old, rather bland and boring MR2, representing the past. Jeremy. Which one? Yeah. Obviously yeah. the oh, newer. What do you think? It's the future. Uh, older one. You think the old one will win? Newer. The newer one, you yeah. see, he's 12, he knows nothing, you... <laughs> the old one. But well, we you got hands up for the old one? Yeah. OK. Yeah, well, if they can get the hands... Oh, These races, I should explain, are not being held over a quarter of a mile because no. that's what you would be expecting us to do. We are doing them over a fifth of a mile. Yeah. You know what? We're punchy and we're quick, so run the tape. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at this. Right, here we are on the line, the old MR2 in the front, getting off the line. Now, let's see. The fast fleet new one is, I think, getting ahead, you'll find. It is technically quicker to 60 miles an hour, and it's... Oh, it's a complete... Look at that! <laughs> Creaking its way over that. Ugh. Rubbish. rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I mean, your car looked like it was designed with a ruler. And, in fact, from that speed, it looked like the wheels were as well, Jeremy. It was rubbish. So, this one is... It's just gone. It's just, garbage. it was close. OK, it's the, the next one. Ah. Cosy. <laughs> well, before we get into that, I'd just like to say that I actually don't believe there will be a loser here. It'll be first and second. We've got the Ford Escort Cosworth. I used to have one of these, turbocharged four-wheel drive. And the truly magnificent um, um, uh, Focus RS. Right, right. Glorious in now, every way, both of them. Mm, yeah. Mm. I know why you're doing this. Mm. Did you actually say about the Focus RS, I seem to remember you said it was undrivable on no, the road. No, no, that's what yes. you said. Yes, well, but yes. as you know, my mind has been changed somewhat. And anyway, never... you can drop this I'm not getting a GT thing because I've got an email here. And it's from a man who works at Ford and he says he's been trying to get tickets to come to the show to right. watch the recording. And he says, I have access to the room where all the Ford GT <laughs> application forms are being held. 
he would be happy to undertake a highly risky and elaborate manoeuvre to get in there and move Mr Clarkson's application form up the list for a pair of tickets to Top Gear one day. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's just banished himself from here forever. The man will never, ever be allowed in. So, sorry, mate, you I anticipated your every move, Mr Hammond. <laughs> he is here! I invited him down! There he is in the glasses. And... And I'm taking him out for dinner afterwards and we're going to have a lovely lobster. Oh, mm. just leave it. Anyway, shall we see the which two of these great cars wins this one? <laughs> I'm hoping it's the Cosworth, obviously. Four-wheel drive against two-wheel drive. And away they go. Oh, the Cosworth has a lightning stop. I'm sorry, it looks like your busted generation's been completely... So there we are. A draw. That's not right. What's going on? These dinosaurs beating the future, it's wrong. Throw it away. Right. You have to throw away a Ford there, Jeremy. No, I just carefully dropped it. Obviously, it's lovely. Like you threw it to me. Right, next two cars, Peugeots. We have the new 206 GTI and the old creaky 205 GTI. The 1.9 GTI. The past, where Jeremy comes from. Old one. There seems to be a general consensus that the older cars are quicker and that you are wrong. Now they're feeling sorry for them. You should call me my master, Obi-Wan, the wise doctor and or the young just apprentice. just a big noisy dinosaur. It depends how you want it. Well, let's find out. Okay. Here we go. The old creaky 205 GTI on the line. And they're away. Let's have a look. It's oh, close. I'm, it's not close. It is close. It's not close. It isn't close, you're right. <laughs> It couldn't be any less close. Yeah. You got Good grief! <laughs> that was rubbish. I'm, I'm just looking at the power to weight ratio of that new car. Of a and new it one? Is, the new one, and it is extraordinary. It's managed to be so heavy when it's made from spit and Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> so Where which, are we? We're actually two old. Two older ones, uh, two yes. newer ones. The past... It's all down Ooh. to the final two. Crikey. And they are. Oh, this should be good. Mm. The Nissan 350. Damn, I was rather hoping it wouldn't be those two. <laughs> and then there's a great big fat old twin thing here. turbocharged. Giant wobbly car for putting Americans in. Twin turbocharged good. versus the one designed Three and a half by a piece. man from Leicester. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, uh, here we go, he said rather nervously. Good luck. <laughs> it's got a bad start. <laughs> But, turbocharger, come on! And so, on that crushing blow for Richard Atomic Kitten Hamster, <laughs> says Mr. Jeremy Jethro Tell Clarkson. Has a ring, I think. We'd like to wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. We'll see you again next week. God knows what time. See you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.